So life offers you a lot of opportunities. Even sometimes if it's devastation and terrible, oh my God, death and you lose your fiance or your divorces. I went through all that stuff, okay? Those are the years I did best. In 81, my fiance, she got together with my training partner. And I came home from the 80 Olympia and they're together. I'm like, oh my God. I went to the gym and my ex-training partner and my ex-fiance were kissy face, huggy bear in the gym and I'm there, there at the same time with me. You know, the hardest thing for me, but to be there, you know, being at your girlfriend's wedding, she's getting married, you know. I felt very, very sad you know, being there. I was so hurt and so baffled that this girl could do this to me. I decided to take all that energy and put it into the gym. Use this hurt as fuel, as energy. Before the 81 Olympia, I just opened the door to the Gold's Gym that day, that, that year, and boom, everything would work. It was a magical year. Any exercise I did was, wow, mind-blowing. Every, and I, I would train like every day, and every day look better, better. I'm in the mirror, I'm scared of myself in the mirror. You know, because I was so focused on this. The fact that something really devastating happened in my life gave me the opportunity to have something great happen. And I think that's the way it works. You gotta have good and bad. In life, there's good and there's evil, and there's good and bad. And a lot of times when evil, heavy, evil, and heavy, terrible things comes along in your life, it's really an opportunity. And everything I looked at in my life that's been bad, or like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? I think back now, it gave me a, an opportunity. Pro opportunity is disguised as problems. Okay, if you don't have problems, you don't have a life. You broke the machine there, Tom. You want to be strong? Learn how to be alone. Uh, my, my girlfriend, Corinne, left me for my training partner. It devastated me. It rocked my world. It hurt me so bad. The only difference between most of you and me, the only difference between me and you is I wanted it more. I wanted it more. That's the only reason I'm sitting here. I'm nobody special. Yeah. I was playing football as a teenager. I never told anybody this, but this coach kicked me in the butt. He, I, I was playing football, I was a middle linebacker. He goes, boom! He goes, Plats, you're nothing. You'll never be nothing. I'm like, my whole world, oh my God. My coach told me, Coach Smith told me I'll never be nothing. From that day forward, I made a promise that I will give it everything I got. I'm ready to die for what I had to, had to succeed. I have to give it everything I got. That way I'm a winner no matter what. Years later, 20, 30 years later, all of Coach Smith's kids, uh, you know, they, they, we, emails just came out. The, the, the internet just opened up and they said, are you the same Tom Plants that Coach Smith talks about? And I said, yes I am, and tell him thank you very much for everything he's ever done for me. I realized I was holding myself back. Healing my wounds required me to grow up. And finally, listen to what my body had been telling me on a very subconscious level. You deserve better. I used sadness as fuel to help motivate myself into finally unleashing a deeper potential. It's gonna knock you down. Yeah, it's gonna knock you down. You're gonna fall on your face and you're gonna be depressed. And you gotta keep moving forward. I had, Cor had a number of Corvettes during my career. You gotta take out the garage in the morning on the way to the gym. And, you know, we just rumble down to the Gold's Gym Hall, oh, man. My neighbors hated it. You know, I loved it. I loved it. Most recently, I got into the you know, 9 11 Turbo Carrera Cabriolet Porsche. 
Uh, it's a stupid car to buy, uh, but I did. The main reason I did that is because I got divorced. You know, and when you, when, I, when you get divorced, you want to do something you always wanted to do. So you go out and buy a $100,000 car. You want to do things you never did, you know, and that's probably the reason I got into the Porsche thing. I recently was remarried. Nevertheless, I'm really, really happy now. Uh, my wife's name is Bobby. There's much more to bodybuilding than just building muscle. Character building, uh, confidence, uh, integrity, uh, how to lose, how to win, uh, the work ethic. That's bodybuilding as far as I see it. If you can put it together in the gym, you can do anything. If you can put it together in the gym and, and you can, if you want to bat it up in the gym, it will happen. And you can do that, it translates into life too. Machine bounces and cheats and the whole fucking gym like just like moves. To me, I mean, that's, that's what good like a smashing machine works does. Ah! <laughs>